welcome back and we are here in berry boulevard guys so yes we have arrived finally um and of course you guys know we have four different lots to explore this i would assume would be those lots and of course you guys know we have a bunch of tasks and uh, different things to complete before we can actually get in there so um i am gonna go ahead record the video put some music on for you guys and then we can come back and we can tour each one individually and look at all the prizes that we would receive at the end um of this all right so sit back relax and yeah let's let's get to work Two thousand years later. All right, guys. So we are back, and we have completed construction in Berry Boulevard. So let's quickly look at the prizes that we received, and then we can tour each and every build individually. So for the prizes, we have a new ranking, Ghost Town. <laughs> And then we have the grass seedlings. We also have pink saplings. We have increased build mode item count for all lots. We also have some hairstyles for male and female. We also have this gorgeous new dress. And to pair it, we have a nice pair of silver heels. We also have the black billboard. And we have the gray billboard. We also have the blue water tower along with the white water tower. All right, guys, so that pretty much sums up all of the prizes. Now we can go into touring the bills. So the first one we're going to look at is the Rockway Retreat. And this is the more tropical, um, tropical build. I don't even know if tropical is the word to use, but it's definitely filled with lots and lots of plants. Maybe botanical is a better way to describe it. And of course, you guys know, because I love plants, this is basically my favorite build. I love how they put this together, and I feel like they've been getting really, really good at giving us builds that make sense. <laughs> so yeah, so we have like a garage area, um, hallway, entryway, um... We also have this walkway as well, which is super, super gorgeous. I love the vibe of it. Um, I think we saw that in a trailer teaser video as well. This is like the main kitchen living area and it's it's a very Hacienda tile vibe. Um, I think it's the mariachi update, I think, um, that uses all these Hacienda tiles and stuff. So all the colors and the furniture styles, um, that's where it's all inspired from and i really love the fact that they paid a lot of attention to detail with this build so that is something that i could definitely appreciate i am not too sure if i'm gonna be renovating any of these lots yet we will see i think i may just because i could i think i could make this lot a bit more usable like i could turn this space into maybe like a mini apartment you know maybe to have our sims have a little bit more um use out out of the lot so yeah but that's basically coming to the end of the rockway retreat uh, we're gonna head over to one of the residential lots now and uh, this is i think the first residential lot it's called alluring abode and uh, i do love the vibe of this um i think it's really modern i love glass and i love the use of the plants and uh, the, just the the general color theme is very um earthy toned so we got a lot of browns and whites and just natural um natural toned furniture inside of this so i could really appreciate that um of course you guys know it's in the middle of a desert so it blends in really well um i love how they put this kitchen together it's something that I wanted to do for a very long time, but actually never got around to doing it. So, got some inspiration there. Um, so, this is like the downstairs area, living, um, entertainment space, the dining area where you can eat, um, garage area, as you guys can see. 
and we're gonna head upstairs upstairs i think has like two bedrooms so this is the first one this is like toddler um slash teenager room um and also has like room to put i would say about two children there yeah because there's the bunk bed and then there's like the entertainment space over here with a pool table this is a pretty grown-up area um love any vibe of that this of course could be like the parents bedroom um whoever lives here so really really love the aesthetics in here that dresser is pretty interesting looking as well pretty new um but just in general this is definitely a cool build um can't really complain about it i may renovate it we'll see but for now we are basically done touring this one and we're gonna head over into the second residential lot that is the poolside pass this one um i think i enjoy a little bit more just because it has the pool and um for me it's it's very open and, and and modern and i think there's a lot of use of the glass windows this one is similar to the house we just um we just toured but it's it's a little bit more modern there's lots of black and white and brown i love 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 the table and chairs on this um that dining room it's gorgeous i don't even think we got that so this is solely comes with the house um but i think i just i like the very modern aspect of it very very well put together love the outdoor area very spacious comfortable um we have like a little office in the corner here so i think these bills just kind of like suits the desert just in general because they're very very um earthy toned so i could really appreciate that about the build uh now we're gonna head upstairs and i think we have is it two bedrooms i think it's two bedrooms so this is like the first bedroom this is could this could be for like a teen or preteen. um we have a little gaming area for them as well so they have their own entertainment there um we have another one so that one was the the male room we could put this as the female's room now um so that's pretty cool so whoever lives here the couple they have like two children um so i love the fact that there's space so it's basically like a three bedroom house you could say um the grown-up bedroom is pretty modern i love the fact that they have like the walk-in closet and the bathroom um just in general and everything is very spacious sometimes when they tend to put bills on the gallery they don't make sense the floor plans that is but i feel like they've been getting really good at making the floor plans make sense and workable so even if i was to renovate this build um i probably wouldn't have to change too too much about it but yeah so that pretty much wraps up the poolside pass and we are going into the last build um that is the one and only community lot and this is called the happy valley motel so basically guys this is like a hotel kind of vibe as you guys can clearly see it's huge and i think this is the lot that can hold like 2000 items i'm still yet to see exactly how that would work on the other lots that we have existing right now uh, but this is the huge huge lot that they were talking about so we come in through um the entryway here we have some gorgeous plants again um so we have like a check-in area we could book your room and stuff and then we have like the entertainment space slash bar restaurant kind of vibe so you can come here and chill grab some drinks some food and just chill in the lobby area i love 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 how they put that together uh, so that's pretty nice feature i must say very luxurious um and then we have like a couple of bathrooms in this section over here also right next to the bathrooms we also have like the lobby area <laughs> you guys will see that in a bit 
um but this is just another seating area again where you can just come and chill um so definitely practical you, these spaces are very usable um and it does make sense let's give them that it does make sense so we are moving on to uh, the outside part of the build i think do we have any more rooms here yes we do so we have like the conference room area not too sure what you would do with a conference room in a hotel or motel was kind of confused about that room but of course guys this is fully um fully able to renovate so you guys can change it into whatever you want so yeah now we can see that we have a lot a lot of different accommodations basically all of the rooms i would say are pretty identical the only thing i'm seeing that is a change is maybe like the paintings or one or two of the paintings are different but um just in general all of the rooms are basically the same that's why i didn't really bother to go into every single one of the rooms because it just seemed very repetitive for me um and of course this is the pool area outside lots and lots of outdoor seating and entertainment spaces chairs galore to chill by the pool loving 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 the aesthetic of this hotel vibe like love it uh upstairs we have like this seems to be another restaurant vibe and there's like seating outside as well we also have like the kitchen area the industrial kitchen that's like i'm guessing the entire hotel again with some bathroom doors and stuff um and uh, i think we have more accommodation upstairs as well so on this side uh yeah we have we have a dining area apparently there but we also have like just a whole bunch of accommodation so it's pretty practical um it's kind of cool too because you can actually take your sims on vacation here so i really really enjoyed that but this is basically setting up the end of the build and we are basically at the end of the video guys so thank you so so much for watching as always i always appreciate my returning viewers and all the love and support that you guys do show on the channel of course you guys know um i do appreciate it when you watch the video if you enjoy it do hit that subscribe button it does help me out a lot um but yeah all in all guys i think this was a nice um touch to the update do let me know which one of these lots are your favorite and which ones you are looking forward to um touring and uh yeah we will see each other in the next video guys bye have a good one